and welcome back to a plague tale innocence so last time in chapter three we moved through the infected monastery and we met an unfortunate monk or, or priest uh, who, who, who was, who's uh, directed us in the direction of uh, Dr. La Laurentius um, then we had to move through the underground section that was full of rats rats everywhere where we learned about the torch mechanic so now we're going to move uh, into chapter 4 and um, see if we can find Laurentius oh, the music dude Chapter 4 The Apprentice Amicia and Hugo managed to nar narrowly escape the monastery where hordes of rats had infested the catacombs. Rats feel like... So they're, they're, uh, they're pacing this really well. You know, the chapters... And we're moving around a lot. I don't know whether there's like a hub area that we're going to end up in, but... I like this pace, you know, it makes it feel like we're on the run, we're trying to escape by bouncing around places like this and these moments of tranquility are really nice the, the music is it's pretty spot on I'm tempted to just stand here <laughs> for a little bit Do you like to take my time in games like this? I mean, what's the point if you don't drink it in, you know? Up there, a windmill. Is that Laurentius's farm? I hope so. I've never seen a real windmill. If we're careful, you'll be seeing one very soon. So I, I took my uh, my dog on a big walk earlier and um, really gave him a big hug after seeing Leon die in the first episode. Oh, what was that? Oh, just jumped the fence. So. <laughs> oh no. Look, it's one of the men that attacked the house. The Inquisition. They're here. I'm going to have to hide pretty soon, I think. I can hear footsteps. Yeah, I can see someone. Now we've got long grass. How they do that? They're only fucking animals. Do I look like a rat? How should I know? Well, I say we'll never get rid of these nests using stupid lime. Whatever happens, we have to get out of here before the sun goes down. They like the dark. Oh no. So back to business. Forgot about that. Uh, we're gonna have full on night sections where the rats are just out in the open. He's got a helmet on, so I can't do much of anything. That's an odd sound. Nothing. No, I can't take the low route. 
You expected me to kill this guy. Amicia, look. There's a bridge that leads to the farm. What a waste of time. The Grand Inquisitor should just tell us what he really wants from us. Looks like we've got some alternate paths. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we should just go straight for the bridge. Go see what it was. Go, 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 go. Well, it was nothing. Yes, now it's my turn. Ah, go. Cool. see this. Oh, that was a bit pointlessly close. Well done. Amicia, we have to get out of here. Nice. Still nothing. Nothing at all. All right, let's forget it. We just need him to turn around. Oh no! They blocked off the farm! Tell Lord Nicholas that the road is blocked. Any person or vehicle that wants to get through is to be stopped and searched. And what are we looking for exactly? A five year old kid. Hugo de Roon. Brown hair, blue eyes. Are you talking about me? Lord I mean... Alive. Shh! Usual. Captain of the Purple Guard wanting them alive? Very important, I was told. Lord Nicholas has his orders direct from the Grand Inquisitor himself. So keep your eyes peeled. He's five? There's no way he's five. He's way... The way he talks, a five-year-old isn't as fluent as that, man. That's ridiculous, five years old. He's more like seven or eight. Yeah. By the way, he talks. Obviously, that's that size, but... Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, please. Definitely, there's a garden there. Yes. Could kill him, but right, how are we supposed to get through here? I'm gonna make a mistake here, I can just feel it coming. Maybe we'll need to kill him, I don't know. Prefer to do this stuff non-lethal. But... Okay. Why would you put resources? I did, I did hear something over there. Careful how you land. Was oh, right, not a sound. <gasps> oh, I thought there were items over there then. There probably was, but workbenches. I haven't picked up much of anything, have I? No. That's unfortunate. I must be missing stuff. For them to put one another one so close. The workbenches. What? What did I do? Why are they looking for me? You didn't do anything. It's... They're the ones who did something. If they catch us, will they hurt us? They are not going to catch us, alright? Alright. So they want the boy. Is he immune to the plague? Is that what it is? Like, it's not... He maybe he has the plague, but it's not killing him. Yeah, I wonder why. It has to, it's something going to be something to do with his sickness, isn't it? He's perhaps immune to it. <laughs> Hugo, Hugo, <sighs> where are you? Oh, Hugo, it's not funny. Hugo! Did I scare you? The Inquisition is here, Hugo. Do you want them to take you away? Don't ever do that again. All right. Oh, oh. I guess he's behaving a bit like a five-year-old. He's just so fluent, <laughs> like with the way he talks. I bet there's items around here. Maybe a flower. There Man's a saint, he'll find These pigs are going to make noise. Uh oh, where did he go? Hey, 
Please, you should hide. It's dangerous. Come on, you go. Huh? What? Well. Oh dear. Nice. Why would I open that? Wasn't there a soldier right here? There he is. This farm area is quite open, isn't it? Oh God! <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Yes, I know, kid. Oh, this is going to be tough. Maybe I need to go around the wall. Let's do better this time. Oh, they're everywhere. So we wait for the patroller to do a lot. There's one with a torch over there. There's some a metal thing hanging from over there that we can use to distract as well. Chest. <laughs> nothing. Nothing here. Uh, let's push it, it, Matt. Yeah, we can get in that chest. Why would you do this? Want the items? What was that noise? Quick, quick, quick. Oh, <laughs> could have gone on. Is he going to notice we stole it? Clear. Hey, I saw one of ours along the trail earlier. 
Dead as a doornail. Shouldn't we bury him? Had he been bitten? Yeah. Did you touch him? No. Ah. Good. Because when a rat bites you, it poisons your blood. You get boils all over, and everyone around you can get it and die too. That's why it's called the bite. Well then, I think we'll just leave him where he is. Yes. Okay, friend. Need to time this with the patroller, right? Both coming towards us. I'm not crazy. I heard something. What was that noise? Go, go, go. Okay. When are they going to call us back to camp? Shit, it's nearly dark. Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. Need to do. No. Okay, almost there. That's a problem. Okay, we can reach it from there. Oh, sorry. These stealth sections take ages, don't they? There's another hut down there. Can't wait till our shift ends, so we can go back to the bastion. Hey. Is it true the Grand Inquisitor dissects rats there to see what's in their bellies? Why not? We can't keep pouring lime into those holes forever. But some people say it's heresy. Heresy is not doing nothing. The Inquisition is making a difference. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's not the same hut, is it? That we started at. Is it? It is. It is. I think it is. So 
they can't see us anymore. No, they can't. Come on, I'll help you. Okay. All right. I hope that was a, the same one. Oh god. It's nearly dark, isn't it? Yubo, we can't stop. Not here. Mm, I feel funny. Come on. You'll be able to rest when we get to Lorenzo's place. My head. It hurts. I, I don't know what to do, Hugo. What would mommy do? Give me medicine. I can carry you. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Come on, climb up. <laughs> mommy says I shouldn't leave the house, you know. I know. That must be why I feel all funny. You're just tired. Her. At least you were allowed to see her. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> 